Hey everyone, happy weekly Dollar Tree haul. I am going to hop right in. I have so much stuff, I don't even want to wait. I am blown away with these first couple of products um, that I have found over this week at the Dollar Tree and I cannot wait to just get started and show you. So here we go. We're just going to jump right on in and just get going. So hard, um, what is this? Yes, Hard Candy, the brand that is usually sold at a billion other places for way more than a dollar, has been periodically showing up at the Dollar Tree for probably the last like six months, I would say. So this right here is a Hard Candy product. And this is um, 360 Sparkle. It's evenly coats each lash with glitter and it's bold and that is the shimmer and glitter to it and this is the look of it right here and i am excited for this because i am the glitter girl i am the glitter colorful girl and i saw this and i was like what i am getting it and i'm gonna get three of them um, just to make sure that I have enough to carry me through. I don't wear makeup as you can see. I generally don't wear makeup but if I was to put makeup on it would be I always lotion my face first and then I put like a concealer on and then usually just like a mascara but if I can glitter up these eyes of mine um, for a little change up of something like that glitter is my thing so i found these mascaras and i'm totally excited all three of these are the same so i grabbed those then i also found along the lines of mascara i found this as well and this is from maybelline and i found these two mascaras right here and these are the colored mascaras which is unbelievable because glitter is my favorite and the colored mascaras are my favorite I generally do not black buy just black they did have a third one in this right here and it was a cherry one so it had like a, a reddish maroon hue to it I don't know about all that so I didn't pick that one up but I got the blue and the purple one so this is da -da 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 -da. let me see um, if it says, but it is the color. Yeah, it just says blue. So I grabbed that one. And these are full size mascaras that you will find for way more than a dollar in other places. And this one is violet. And I am stoked. I am so excited because mascara is just, it's my thing. If I'm going to wear makeup and I'm excited about it. So now, also this right here, and this is, I'm probably going to give this to my mom, but I had to pick it up anyways. And this again is the Hard Candy brand. And this is the um, highlight, create light and enhance features. And it's a highlight contour. So I'm going to, my mother absolutely loves makeup and I grabbed that for her to try. She loves to do her makeup and she's definitely one that goes the extra mile to put her face on every day and that's just not me but I grabbed that for her and these products have been just like unbelievable finding them at the Dollar Tree I'm totally excited for it so hard candy again and I do like this color green very very much and this is just an eyeliner and my mom also loves green and she has um greenish hazel eyes sometimes they change from like green to like sometimes they can look a little yellow with blue in them and um green on her looks really pretty but i do love green myself so i grabbed two of these one for myself and one for my mom and they are the hard candy brand can you believe like i was so excited and to find these things for a dollar is like the biggest win because like I would not pay honestly personally myself I wouldn't pay what the stores are asking 
for these products not because they're not well worth it but because I'm cheap like let's just be honest here I am cheap so to find these things and give them a try for a buck is where I'm going to get them so now this this is from wet and wild and I won't even say anything else other than just look at the sparkle in there and then this is just a lip gloss with a lot of sparkle in it and the color of it is just so pretty I absolutely am obsessed with it and I love the little these little things that they're putting on them to um, slide them on the hooks to display them I think that's cool then I found this wet and wild one right here which is a really really pretty shimmery one and let me see if I can find the name of it ride on my copper it says it says ride on my copper I don't know if it's going to focus on that it's probably not but that's the bottom of it it says ride on my copper I think that's a really pretty color and then I found this one as well. I'm sorry, guys. I have wicked allergies. I've been taking Claritin every day. I have Flonase and stuff. I have sinus infections that are so persistent. Ear um, infections and stuff that are persistent. Um, I definitely think it's stemming from allergies. So I'm a little bit congested and like stuffed up and stuff. And if I sound a little off, it's definitely because of that. So this is another Wet n Wild here. And then this one is called Behind the Bleachers. And that color is really, that, that looks so pretty in the tube. So I hope that they come out just like they look because I will be really excited about that. So that I think is all the makeup that I found and I am super happy about it. So now that I showed you, I can give my mom her things to try and she's going to be excited too. Then I went and I found this mask. Now this mask is adorable. I wished I had found it for Valentine's Day. I really, really do. I love the lips all over it, but I'll wear it all the time. Anyways, even outside of Valentine's Day. And this is an adult size mask and... They are coming up with some really cute ones. I know I do have another one somewhere down. Oh, it's right here. I just found it. So that one, that is the one. This is me all over the place. All of those colors intertwined with one another is definitely me. So that pattern on there is really, really pretty. And again, this is the adult size mask. And they have really, really cute kids ones too that have a lot of different um, characters on them and stuff. I should have taken a picture. You know at the end of this video there will be a ton of pictures included. So remember to watch for the ending to see the things that I didn't pick up that you still may want to check out and see what the store has. Um, I will include those at the end of the haul. And then I found these scrunchies which are tie-dye and you know I love tie-dye in this brand right here uh, I mean it just says scrunchies and it's a two-piece so you get two for a dollar in here and I like to sometimes do a little little poofs um to put my hair up instead of a bun so two matching tie-dye bands are going to be great for that then I have some different ideas for crafting that I want to get done and I won't tell you what it is first because I want to see how it comes out but I needed headbands for this new project that I'm trying to create and so I went to the Dollar Tree and I found these bigger headbands that are have a little bit more thickness to them which is a sturdier um you know platform for me to use to build onto and it's a two pack so I got this one in this pack of these two colors which I think are really pretty and then these two right here same thing two for a dollar so I grabbed those headbands and I hope 
that what I'm aiming for comes out really cute because if it does, I'm going to go bananas. I'm totally going to lose it. I'm putting this new craft together if I can really pull it off. So I'll show you um, when I get that started, if it comes out good. And then I'll tell you about that new hobby that I'm going to try to get going. And then at the end, I have to show you what I did with the bunnies. Let me just recap the bunnies really quickly. So this was from the last haul. These bunnies, they have made my heart so happy. Now they had something similar to this concept in um, Christmas time. It was a full size gnome. And as you can see, they've given us a beautiful full size bunny for Easter as well. Well, I have used this beautiful bunny and created a whole village of bunny bunnies, girls and boys with cute little personalities um, with how I've embellished them. They've all come together so beautifully. I have picked up another two other than the seven that I've already purchased and embellished. I have picked up another two so that I can embellish them and give them to my friend Julie that saw what I created with the other ones and now I will do a set for her for an Easter gift. I highly suggest if you guys are gonna find try to find these to find them now because as soon as they come out they're gone. They're gone. I've seen them probably at I'd say four of the Dollar Trees that I have I have on my long list of Dollar Trees that I travel to and they barely even put them down on the shelving to display them and they're they're gone. They're literally gone. I bought seven myself, you know, in one whack. Then I went back and I found two more and then the lady on the side of me bought like 12. So if you're going to look for these, I would do it now because you're not going to find them closer to Easter. You're probably not even going to find them in a couple of weeks, to be honest with you. Um, so these guys are my favorite things ever. Like they, the Dollar Tree is really giving us an incredible product for $1 and then with just the little odds and ends that I had in my craft room to embellish them, I made them all have little personalities, outfits, just, just looking at them, like I can picture them, you know, being like their own characters. They came out really cute and I can't wait to show you the pictures at the end of this video so that you can see what I created. And now I'm going to do a couple more for my friend Julie. So... If you want these bunnies and they have the beans in the bottom like I told you in the last haul um, so they'll set up nicely by themselves on a counter space or wherever you're gonna display them now I also found myself this and I had to get it they're coming out with some new wall decals and I am so excited and it's a mermaid and I couldn't leave it there she is absolutely beautiful like she's all mermaid scales of all of my favorite colors ever. Um, that just the form, you know, that she's in in every single print is just really pretty. And sometimes I just collect them because at some point I will figure out where these clings are gonna go permanently, or I could make. Um, pictures out of them to hang on a wall space like in a frame and create like uh, its own uh, vision in a frame so that I can hang it instead of putting it on the wall just as this clingy decal so I do have quite a few wall clings that I haven't done anything with yet in my house but I'll come up with an idea at some point to display them permanently I just haven't yet so now I'm going to show you a couple of these um, toy type of items and book type of items. And these I think are unbelievable, especially for gifting for Easter to put in a nice basket. These 
sticker books that they're coming out with they are so good quality like it is unbelievable the pages are thick it feels like really sturdy and it seems to be a dollar tree um company that brands these and puts these out i don't see any other labels on them and i'm surprised that this is just for a dollar so it says with over 125 stickers it's a sticker activity book this one is a day in the garden and i'll just show you um basically like the pictures on here are fantastic and then you go and you find and i used to get these books when i was little too so these quite trigger me um you know at, for an adult a kid whatever but it has the little spaces that you'd have to go to like the middle of the book find all the stickers and then you find the sticker that goes with that blank spot and you fill them in so that you can fill all of the spots but look at these stickers and how beautiful they are and realistic and there's so many pages of stickers in here like this book it look at the birds and everything like it's a great teaching tool it comes with information a fun fact on every page it says so there's quite a few stickers in the middle of each book um to finish off the pages and then like you have to go in and you have to look for the bug to put in that spot that is whited out and showing you that that's what it's missing and that and then look at that page like I loved these books when I was little these are great books and they would be perfect for a cute Easter basket and then I got this one now I have a little cousin named Murphy and you've probably heard me talk about him in my videos um and he is a rock star Murphy I love you you're fantastic if your brother gives me permission at some point I will put you in one of my videos I cannot wait to see you and I have quite a few presents for you and I can't wait to kiss your whole little face Murphy is amazing he's smart he's funny he's energetic and he loves construction and cars and he is a boy's boy so I saw this in a construction and I had to get it for him so I grabbed this a day at the construction site and then it has all of the pages same concept all of these are the same concept um these are all the stickers in the middle here and I will just show you what like the stickers are fantastic in the size like that is going to be a lot of fun and he's going to love it so there's quite a few stickers in the middle of the book and then he will go in fill in all of the blanks and then read the story and find out the fun facts on every single page so there's that then there's one for a day at the farm same concept all the stickers um of the farm animals i i this just brings me right back to my childhood honest honestly these these are such great little i love sticker books anyhow i always had them and then there's one of the pages right there again with all of the fun facts on every page these are such amazing gifts for a dollar and then this one is animal friends and i'll just i gotta show you the cutest page i think oh and look at the stickers look at the fish and the birds oh my goodness this is just the coolest so again all of the stickers and this right here look at that fun page of all the birds and then the little spots where you have to continue filling in with the birds and that's the four books that I found and I am so excited that I found them you have no idea now let me show you some Easter eggs my husband is wandering into the room um so let me show you some easter eggs get away from the rollos he's stealing he's stealing rollos 
No. Did you take Rolos? No. Okay. So the Easter eggs this year are awesome. I cannot believe. Like they are giving us so many different ideas along the lines of Easter eggs. Like they are not plain and boring anymore. Honest to God, they really aren't. These are a sea life concept right here. Like I, my favorite is the starfish. I, I don't want to open up the packages and then have them roll everywhere. But look at the starfish. That one is my favorite. I love the starfish. So I got two packages of the sea life ones, which those are my fave. But I have to say that these are definitely my favorite. And they have so many different ones to choose from this year that have all different like themes to them. I am like Dollar Tree. You are killing me. You are killing me. Um, and I forgot to tell you how many are in there. So this one has eight pieces in that one. And then this one has six pieces, but they are cars. They're flipping trucks. They're trucks. They're <laughs> flipping trucks. Um, I keep saying I'm over the trucks, but that has to be the cutest thing ever. And you don't even need them for just Easter egg idea. You can just use them to play with them. Hey, it's my son. This is becoming a thing. Hello? Yeah? What? I can't hear you. All right, call call me back. Call me back. Call Richie. Ba yes, I have to go. I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul. Call Richie. You can call me when you have my phone. All right, don't call Richie. I have his phone. Are you coming home? All right, love you, bye. Sorry, this is becoming a thing. He seems to call every time I'm making a haul. So sorry about that. I don't want to edit. You have no idea what it takes to edit these videos. It's like a pain in the butt. So if you had to fast forward through that part, I totally understand. Like we're on the same page. I would too. So anyways, these are trucks and that couldn't be any cuter. Trucks in all these colors. You don't even use, need to use them. Like I said, for Easter eggs. To fill you can just use these to like play like the kids to play with or use them as the Easter eggs and hide stuff in them around the house whatever so these are definitely my next favorite and I bought one for my little Murphy and it's so I can give him some presents and each one put some candy in each one and give them to him for Easter and then I bought two other packages so that I can decorate with them around the house for Easter. So I got three of those. And like the Dollar Tree is on fuego. Like let's be serious here. This Dollar Tree year of all the holidays has been by far the best I've ever, ever, ever seen. And I am going to be there weekly to make sure I got everything that I need. <laughs> so these ears right here. It's so funny because at work this week, I kind of dressed just basic and well, still funky, still me, my crazy glasses, my funky earrings from like my Shein and stuff and all of my collection that I've made myself and, you know, bright colors, but no like crazy holiday headbands that tie in the outfit and, and whatever, you know, it was just kind of like a normal week for me and my bosses instantly were like, what is going on? Like, why do you look like that? I'm like, what is that supposed to mean? They're like, where's your headbands? Where's your flary, you know, looking holiday outfits? I'm like, there's no more holidays for a little bit. I'm on a reprieve here. And so they're like, no, you got to do something. You got to do something. So even though I do have some stuff for Easter already, I did pick up a couple more headbands so that I will be ready 
to go to work for the month of Easter in my Easter attire. So I got these two headbands right here, which are so cute. Like, they're adorable. And even if you didn't want to use these as headbands, you could take off these little embellishments here and use them to craft with. I mean, be creative if you like those pieces because they are terribly cute. Like, look at them. They're adorable. And the eggs are pretty as well. And so if you felt like it and you needed them for something else, just take them off the headband. And that's that. So now, where should I go? Now I bought my little goddaughter this right here, which is like their cars are even getting cuter and cuter. The ones that are at, like the Dollar Tree and stuff. And I know Hot Wheels is a brand that pretty much goes anywhere that you can purchase, but I generally only am at the Dollar Tree or Aldi's or Shaw's during a good sale. So of course I only see the Hot Wheels there. And I grabbed this because it is a Barbie van and I was a Barbie girl when I was little. I had more Barbies than I even knew what to do with, but I took care of my babies like they were my own. So I value Barbie brand very much. And I wanted to get that for my little goddaughter Jalen so that that can go in her Easter basket. But they have a ton of great looking Hot Wheels. I do know that Walmart sells Hot Wheels like that just like singly for like 94 cents or something like that. But the convenience for me is that I'm already at the Dollar Tree and they're only a dollar. So that's only six more cents than what I would pay at Walmart and have to go a little bit further um, to the Walmart. So just pick it up at the Dollar Tree. Now this. This is so classic looking. This sign right here. And I will use this cute little sign here to... I don't know. It's pretty cute. I might not even put it as a centerpiece to a wreath, to be honest with you. That is pretty, pretty cute, just just as he is. So this is the sign that I picked up, and I love the wear look of him, like he's been around for a while. That's just really, really pretty. So I grabbed that sign right there, and I was so excited when I saw him sparkling in the aisle i was like oh my god new signs so I, and i have honestly i have left quite a few signs behind and i am waiting for three particular ones that i cannot seem to find anywhere and it's kind of starting to stress me out because i know once they get put out like people are gonna scoff them up and i'm not gonna find them so they are gnomes with easter bunny ears on them and I have to find them. I will cry if I don't find them this holiday season coming up for Easter. Because they have to be the cutest things ever. The gnomes with the bunny ears. Um, I think that there's three different ones with the gnomes on it. And I have to find them. Um, so I'm on the lookout for those. And then these soaps. And these pumps are perfect. Like, they are just classic Easter. The bunny and the chick. And there is a full thing of soap in here, just hand-washing soap. It doesn't come with any labels to say that it's antibacterial or anything like that. But just for the, um, just for the bottles alone would be well worth a dollar without the soap even in it. And then once you use up the soap inside of it, just refill it with whatever soap you have on hand for a refill for next year so i have my soap dispensers for a long time now of these guys for easter and i'm thrilled now this is an ice cube tray with these bunny bums in here and these little bunny bums you can like it says make ice cubes out of them but you could also use this to like play with play-doh and things like that and make little bunny bums out of play-doh and you could um make like little jello uh, make little jello cubes 
in here to like have as snacks. You could do so many things with this mold. And I just love the little bunny bums in here. Now along the lines of Play-Doh, I am excited for these. And I did buy them for myself, to be 100% honest with you, because I loved Play-Doh. And who doesn't like to sit around and just kind of play around with something cool to manipulate? And these smell good. So this is from Crayola. And this one is Silly, um, called Silly Sense Dough. Silly Sense Dough. And this is Strawberry. So there's that one. This one is Blueberry. Like these are cute, cute. And I cannot wait to open them and smell them to see if they actually do smell strongly. There is the Grape one. And how cute would these be in an uh, Easter basket? I'll make my own Easter basket and put them in there just to see them on Easter morning for myself. And then orange. I used to make the cutest little things like just out of sculpting Play-Doh just for like the fun of it. I used to do it all the time. I think I've even done it as an adult too. Um, and I've certainly done it as a mom, that's for sure. And then this one is green apple. And can you get like enough of these faces that they put on them and all these different fruits and stuff? Like they did these canisters, so adorable. And then this one is banana. And these together, I mean, I don't put them all up, but the little faces on these are fantastic. Like they are so cute. So I got those Play-Doh and... Um, me and Isaiah will have a Play-Doh date with those. I am sure of that because he always loved Play-Doh too. And that would be fun on Easter to kind of like, just like sit there and play and sculpt like little characters or little animals and stuff with the Play-Doh. Plus if they smell good, you know, I'm all about good smells. So I can't wait to try those and see if they are as strong as I hope that they are. Now look at these ribbons in the party section. I am planning on making a wreath out of these for Easter. Building on to one of the wreath forms that I find at the Dollar Tree. But these are beautiful. So these are all the colors. This is the yellow. The white that has like that iridescent like shimmer. The blue. The pink and the beautiful green so that's all of these and then I will just show you one so there's one packet one package from the voila brand that holds two of these um, little separated ribbons here and then all you have to do is pull out the staple and um, use as many as you want don't even use a whole bunch if you're going to use it for a package, there's quite a few in here that you can pull from. Um, I am going, like like I said, to make a wreath out of these ribbons for Easter for one of my doors. And I thought that they were so beautiful. And I love the shimmer and the shine to them. They were really bright, the colors all together on the shelf. I just couldn't leave them there. And I've made wreaths um, out of out of ribbons and bows and stuff from the Dollar Tree so many times and they're hung up you know in springtime and stuff like that I put them on the doors and they look so pretty but I don't put them on the doors that get sun that directly hit them because it does wash out the color after a while of being in the sun from the ribbons which is not good so I kind of try to remove them from those areas. Now I would like to show you the candy that I have since the last haul picked up for the Easter baskets. The last haul I showed you some really, really great candy that I have picked up so far that all have the Easter theme to them to make a really, really cute snack basket for my son which I make him snack baskets for literally 
every holiday, sometimes for his birthdays too. Like that's just fun to receive a gift um, that's full of your favorite type of snacky food that you kind of just want to chill and enjoy. So he's a snacky kid and I've always done it even since he was little. So I had hauled a bunch of other candies the last haul. If you want to see what they were, check out my last video. But this is from this week. And this is, again, the Easter theme to all of these. So it's going to look really, really cute in a basket all together. I got two boxes of these because I did get one for Richie. And how cute is that M&M on there? That is the cutest M&M ever. And these have peanut butter in them. And Richie loves peanut butter. So I did grab Richie one and Isaiah one of these M&Ms right here. And they did have another box of the M&Ms that did have a different image on it with one of the M&Ms dressed up differently. And it, that one was just as cute. But I loved that M&M guy with the wig on. Then I got him the Junior Mints. I got him some cotton candy peeps and guess what we love peeps we love peeps I know that that is so like hit or miss with everybody like either you hate peeps or you love peeps and this family loves peeps so I got him some cotton candy ones and then oh I think I got him two of these I must have so I guess I got them too, of the trolley gummies. Then I found these, which are cool, and these are Blow Pop Minis. So it says that it's a Blow Pop with no stick. There's watermelon, blue raz, cherry, and sour apple in here. So I thought that these were really cool, different, totally different, and I wanted him to have them. And then this right here with Snoopy on it is just a Whitman's chocolate bar, which is a really great brand. And I love the cover of it. I said it the last video too, like candy for a holiday that actually matches the theme of the holiday to make the baskets with are my favorite. I love to put together a basket of treats that have like the packaging that looks like it is for the holiday that I'm making it for. It just kind of pulls it all together. It makes it really fun and festive. And I love that concept. So this is from the Russell Stover's brand. We know I love Russell Stover's. If you watch my videos, you've seen me haul some Russell Stover's. Um, and this one I grabbed for Isaiah. This is the chocolate marshmallow. And there's four of these little these little chocolates in there with the chocolate marshmallow inside. I've already tried them. I'm not going to lie. Russell Stover's is my man. And I have tried these in there. are phenomenal. So I got those for his basket. Then I got these, which I've gotten these every year for them for like the past few years. This again is the Palmer's brand. If you've never seen it before, that is another really good brand of chocolate. And then this is a really large... Easter egg inside that is peanut butter filled. So I got two of them. I got one for Isaiah and one for Richie because Richie, like I said, loves peanut butter. So those are the two candies that I got for Richie. And then Isaiah is going to have a sweet little treat basket that is he is going to love. Then I got this really, really cute pail here that I am going to stuff with really pretty looking spring flowers um, and set it on my counter space when I am decorating for Easter. And I love all the little boxes on here with all these little sayings inside. And I love the color scheme on here. Um, I think it just all goes really well together and I thought it was a really cute tail. So I grabbed a bunch of purple flowers to put inside of that. I don't, yes, I do have them. So I grabbed these purple roses right here. I grabbed them all 
in the purple family. This one is kind of like a purple swirl that has like some white in it as well as like the violet, the lilac purple. So I grabbed those. This is more of a really, really light lilac here. And then the deeper, darker purple right there. So I will pick these and kind of bunch them together to put them into that little pail. I'll mix them up better than this. And then put them in that little purple pail and it will look so pretty and so Eastery. And just a little springtime Easter on my counter. Then I grabbed these little headbands right here. And there's four of these in here for a dollar that come with just the regular bunny ears. So I will separate this package and I will give one to my little goddaughter. And then one of the girls that I work with every single day, she has three little girls. So I'll give her another three because I always like to bring in some type of a little gift for my co-workers and my bosses um, during the holidays. And I always try to include something for my co-workers that have children so that when they go home with their little gift, they can bring their kids home something as well. So I'm going to give her three of those for her, her three little girls. Then for my goddaughter, Jalen, I found these bows and these bows are so beautiful. Like they are just shimmery, shiny, so pretty. And they have that really cute little um, soft clip on the back that can clip right into her hair and probably not pull it or, um, you know, cause any type of breakage or anything and there's two for a dollar in that package which is really good and those bows are gonna look so adorable on her then i got this stuffed peep and you know i had to get it because i love peeps so i grabbed this little stuffed peep and this little stuffy here is so so soft and so like the feeling of it is incredible it's so buttery soft and then it has little beans in the bottom. Um, so there is a decent amount of weight to it. I have seen these in previous years in like the regular stores and stuff. And these are usually around like $3. And so they had a whole box full of them of different colored peeps for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I had to get one because I've never bought them for $3 at the other stores where I've seen them. I've actually just left them there when they've been three dollars but Dollar Tree has them for a dollar I want one then they have these which are awesome I didn't realize what they were right away but these are crayons of oh bless you Richie's got the sneezies that's not good um so these are crayons how cute are these little bunny bums these are so cute and I love the colors of all of them I am not gonna wear these down by using them as crayons I'm just going to decorate with them I don't know where certainly I'm going to decorate with them at the moment but once I pull all of this stuff together get all of my stuff together that I want to decorate with for Easter I will figure that out once I visualize everything at once, which is going to be an undertaking because I have quite a bit at this point. Plus what I already have upstairs in my storage space where all of my holiday th things are. Um, but, w you know, we'll see what we can do with these because they're too cute not to pick up. Even if you do pick them up, like, that's pretty adorable to have as a crayon for your child to color in a coloring book or something that you pick up at the Dollar Tree. Like, these are just precious. Those are, those are brand new. I've never seen anything like that at the Dollar Tree ever put out, ever. Then I found these window clings right here. And I thought that these little babies in here are just the cutest. I love chicks chicks just as much as I love bunnies for an Easter um, character and uh, 
I had to have these because I am going to do some type of a craft that incorporates these so that I can put them up. They're too cute not to. I will not use them as window clings. I'm not certain what I'm going to put them on yet, whether it's going to be a wreath or if I can figure out another way to use them on something that I can display. I definitely wanted to grab these so that I have them on hand when I figure that out. Then I grabbed this one just solely for that Easter egg that says Happy Easter. I think that that is just so pretty. I love all the colors together in that Easter egg. That, that sheep right there is not too bad either, I'm telling you. Look at how cute he is with the little flower in the side of her hair. What a beauty. So here's that one. And then this one right here I bought for the truck with the chick riding in the window. This one is so cute. And um, I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna do with these. I have been making a lot of crafts lately. It's been very therapeutic and I have enjoyed it very much. Um, but I have to figure out like where I'm going next in my crafting ideas so that I don't keep making wreaths or I do have a lot of doors in my house but I don't have enough to display like everything into a wreath um, for decoration purposes. I'm going to have to really figure out a different way to put some of these things into a different craft that I can display other places than on my doors is what I'm getting at. So now I don't know if it was the last haul or the haul before last. I hauled these really, really great signs from the Dollar Tree that have just come out for spring. And I knew I was missing one from the brand new collection. I found it and it has to be hands down my favorite one, even though they were all unbelievable. My other favorite from the other haul was the mason jar one with all the flowers in it. If you haven't seen it, honestly, go back and check out my videos and see if you can spot it so that you can look for it because those brand new signs that they've come out with for spring, not not Easter, but spring, are gorgeous and I would buy them, like I said in that other video at Hobby Lobby, for more than a dollar because they are that cute. This is the one that I had missed that day, but I have now found it. And it is my favorite of all the signs, even though I think that they are all great. I love the bicycle. I love the bicycle. This is just such a beautiful, beautiful sign. And it's not like these signs are made cheaply or anything they're not thin they have a they have a great sturdiness to them these are like that's pretty i think it was the last haul so if you want to check out the last haul i think that all of the other signs that came out all at once in this line um is in that video and they were all beautiful but the bike is definitely my favorite and I am so excited that I found it. So, so, so excited that I found it. Now, where do we go now? Where do we go? Oh, let's go here. I found this egg. And this is a ceramic egg. And it's painted this beautiful lilac with a little bit darker in the middle. And I did try to find my all of my family's initials but they had very 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 few letters on the easter eggs i am looking now for an r and an i and well the k can pretty much go for me and my mother so i only needed this one k for that but i need an r and an i and they did have these in some other colors also i think there was a yellow and possibly a green if i can remember correctly and i just think that these are really really cute with the initials on them so I grabbed this in hopes that I can find the other one, um, the other letters that I'm looking for. So now I'm going to be on the lookout for that. I forgot these babies. So Easter eggs again. I am going to fill these with jelly beans and put them on my counter. 
this is only a three piece in here and these bunny eggs are adorable and I will fill them with colorful jelly beans so that I can put them on the counter and people can snack on the jelly beans if they walk by. That is just a really cute way to display the candy and I always put out candy dishes sometimes, you know. Um, I put it like in my living room, like on my counter space as you're walking in the kitchen, you'll see a candy dish with just like little hard candies or soft candies or something like that. And I just want really cute jelly beans that are colorful and pastel looking to pop out of these um, w when it gets closer to Easter. So this is the chicky right here. And again, there is three in this little in this little package so I grabbed those as well then I found these buckets and these buckets are awesome these buckets are so beautiful and I know that there is a third one in just a plain white but I got the peach one I got the peach one with the little unicorn face on it the pink little handle she is beautiful and then I got the purple one as well. And these are also, I'm going to use these to just decorate with and probably put some um, fake flowers in them and make flower arrangements and decorate my house with them for Easter. So, and I know, like I said, there is a white one that has the white background to the face with the unicorn on it and look at these guys like they're pretty they're really really pretty now I'm wondering if they'll come out with something that is like mermaidy and just like really fun like that you know I love mermaids and unicorns and fairies I'm such a kid at heart like my boss said something to me the other day that really struck me and it is so 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 true it is mandatory to get older but it is optional to grow up and it just, it's perfect. Honestly, it really is. Like we all have to grow older. If we want to live a long life, we, we all have to age with that process. And there's learning to be done throughout the entire process. You're still learning, growing as a human being, I believe until the very end. And it's quite beautiful if you really get what is intended out of it. But you don't, just because you get older, have to stop loving and um, being the person that you were when you were little. I've always found that so funny that when you get older, you can't like the same things that you used to like when you're little because it's juvenile or, you know, it's immature and things like that. Well, I'm, I'm quite mature. <laughs> I am very um, grown and every other way, but I still gravitate toward the things that I love, that, that spark that child in me, that make me smile, that give me the memories that I used to make as a kid. And then I can share them with other people. Cause if I stop liking them, how am I going to pass them off, you know, to other people that might, you know, enjoy what I'm doing, you know, with me. So I can't, tuck all that stuff away and pretend like it still doesn't make me just as happy as it did when I was eight. It does. So if you like it, if it's something that makes you feel good doing, who cares if it says three plus on it, you know, if it's something that you want that is going to make you smile, then get it and do it and don't explain yourself. Just have a good time with it. And that's it. So I also now back to the hall. Um, I grabbed these. I have a friend, friend, um, named Cindy and she watches and I wish I could remember right now what it is, but it's, she, I see her posted a lot on Facebook and it's about these two flamingos that is down in Florida at a flamingo sanctuary. And I believe one of them's name is Scarlet, but I can't remember what the other one's name is. And they are quite cute. I've been watching the videos that she posts of them in their sanctuary and they are precious. And I love flamingos too. I just love flamingos. So um, I found these two woodcrafts here 
and there are the two flamingos there are a lot of other animals and birds and things at the sanctuary but the videos are based on these two flamingos so i got her these two wood crafts right here and it's called wood shop easy to assemble it's a 3d wood puzzle so i grabbed two of them to mimic the two um flamingos that she watches and then she can decorate them after and make them you know into her own little muse that she can display at her house to because she seems to really love them so I saw these and had to get them for Cindy if you're watching this these are your gifts and I'm gonna try to bring them by for you next week and then I also got her this flamingo coloring book um the tropical pinky life and I thought that this book was so cute it has some really great prints in it to color um just really pretty stuff so just a day of crafting with her flamingo friends uh I, i'll if i can remember i'll tell you what it is in the next video um so that you can see if you can find the videos it's probably definitely on youtube somewhere i just can't remember right now but it is a sanctuary down in Florida. I know that and I know that one of the flamingos names is Scarlet. So that's that. Now I do have quite a bit more stuff to be honest with you. There is very well probably going to be another haul before next weekend. Um, I have more stuff that I'm kind of holding all together that has to do with like household replenishment and um, organization things and, um, just a lot of stuff that I've purchased over the last week and a half. But the last few items that I will show you is that I've found some more eyeglass cases. And as you know, I have a humongous collection of prescription eyeglasses from Zenny Optical. And I've been looking to encase all of them in their own pouches so that I can keep them, you know, new looking and keep the scratches off the lenses and stuff. Because I do hold them in a storage container that I bought at the Dollar Tree, but I have so many glasses that they're kind of all jammed together. And I don't want them, you know, breaking one another. So I have found some more really, really cute patterned pouches for my eyeglasses and these are the only ones that I purchased from the Dollar Tree when they do have them and these have this really great snap top and I love all of the all of the fruits and the lollipops and the I mean the popsicles and stuff and the ice cream cones that are on here so I grabbed that then I grabbed this right here with the flamingos on it because I love flamingos myself with the palm trees. Again, same same thing. So I grabbed these three. And this one says Sun Beach with the pineapple with the eyeglasses on. So um, yeah, so I found some more pouches and I'm excited that I found them. I'm getting really close to I probably have like another 20 um, glasses to encase. I have found a really good amount over the last like five or six months of the pouches. So now I only have to encase another 20. But you know me, I'm probably going to get more glasses. So I'm probably going to be on this mission for quite a while. Then they have these bucket hats. And I loved this one so much and it just says hat on it um it doesn't have a particular size or anything like that i'm not going to try it it's, it would make my hair probably staticky um because the heat is on in this house and and i just don't want to do that to my hair at the moment even though it's slicked back but i love the bumblebees all over it i'm assuming it's it, it's for a uh, a child um it looks bigger than a you know a small child's head it probably would fit me comfortably but i did have to buy this even if i'm out gardening or something in the yard if i just pop this on like to block my eyes from the sun 
or for your child, you know, that's a little bit older for a beach hat or something. And then the lemon one as well. These are so cute. And they had like, like another six patterns. Um, but these I found to be the cutest for sure. So I had to grab those. And then I'm going to stop it now. It's at 59 minutes and 56 seconds. So that's going to be it for today. And I hope that you liked in this haul. I hope that you liked hanging out with me. And I hope that you guys are having a really, really great um, start to your weekend. And um, I hope that you're inspired by some of the stuff that I found. The Dollar Tree is killing me. Like I have gone to the Dollar Tree for years and years and years and probably like the last five years, it has gotten so addicting to go and see what they have put out because they put out new stuff on a daily basis. And not one Dollar Tree, um, has the same carbon copy thing as the next one so it has been quite entertaining for me to go to all of these different dollar trees within an hour hour and a half of distance and it has been a lot of fun and i am finding some really great things stuff for myself to craft gifts for people um things to for my home and it has saved me a lot of money than running to Walmart, Target, and all those places where I would spend way more than a dollar in any other department. So I hope that you enjoy my missions as much as I enjoy them. I hope that you guys have a happy, healthy, blessed, loved, peaceful week and that you are staying warm and safe and being kind to one another. And I will probably see you again midweek, I would say, to continue on with this haul, plus anything else I might find. So again, I will see you guys soon, and I hope to hear from you. Like, comment, share, subscribe, pass me on. I would really appreciate it. I love spending time with all of you guys, and um, I can't wait to say hi. Let me know what you're going to run out and go try to find. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Bye everyone.